Welcome to Suave's Easy Recipe for everyday people where we make and remake recipes. So today we're going to be working on making kondo. Some people call it mori. Some people have other names for it, but it's especially made for banku. I'm going to be using one pack of Indian head. It doesn't really matter. There is no portion sizes. I just prefer using the, the, the Indian head, the smaller one. This is just for the video's sake, but on a normal day, I use more. I use half of the masa as well, proportional, if I'm going to use half of that because of the size of the um, Indian head I'm gonna use half of the master I stir it in homogeneously make sure that everything is in properly then I add some water I eyeball the water you know there is no measurement to it I eyeball and I make sure that I've got it the way I want it the texture that I want the paste make sure you get all the corners and mix it homogeneously and a shout out to my brother in Canada who called and asked how to make it and literally I had to do this video and I thought I would share it for other guys out there that need to know how to make fermented corn dough literally more for making banku or for making kenke um a Ghanaian meal I'm yet to see another culture that uses it fermented but I know in Ghana we use it for banku and okra soup or banku and tilapia, but mostly for that purpose. I know the Spanish people use the masa for tamales and it's also a yummy meal as well. But yes, it's not fermented. So at this point, I just go ahead and I just keep stirring it. Some people say, why didn't you wear gloves? Everybody and how they do it. I just prefer using my hands because it's the old school way. Not no gloves, nothing. Back in the days with the, this and nothing happened. Okay. And I also heard from some people like the older folks that when you use your hand, the fermenting process speeds up and it ferments very well. Um, so actually, I really like it. And it makes it allows me to see the consistency of the dough and the paste, um, the the texture of the paste as well. So I'm wrapping up, and I'm just gonna clean my edges, put it down, make sure that the air um, space in there has reduced as well. Um, clean up the sides, make it presentable a little bit, not shabbily. And then what I'm gonna do after this is you want it to ferment, so you're gonna get a tight cover so whatever container you use is very helpful when you have a cover to it a lead that is very tight and that does not have a space what happens is that as it ferments it's gonna rise and you're gonna know that it's ready so i went ahead and cover it i got this bowl from walmart i'm not advertising from walmart but if you're curious that's where i got it from and it ferments for at least three more days thanks for joining me thank you, thank you like and subscribe